Today we're going to review the KMC Controls Conquest product line. It's all here, a pretty straightforward uh, architecture. Uh, we've got VAV controllers, we've got unitary controllers, and we've got a general purpose plant controller. And we'll review all these uh, today. Just a general overview, any of these controllers can reside on MSTP, speaking BACnet, or like these two controllers shown, can be on BACnet over IP. Okay. We'll start down here with the VAV family. These ones shown right now are on MSTP, and they are actually running up to this router that runs BACnet over MSTP to BACnet over IP, okay? All the controllers are advanced application controllers, which means that they can schedule trend and alarm themselves. The VAV family and the unitary controller family actually ship from the factory with uh, programs ready to be applied in the field. If the customer doesn't want to use that specific program, they can actually change it, or if they have, uh, even if they want to blow out that program completely and create their own algorithms within the controller, they can do that. On the software side, any of these controllers can be programmed with line-by-line -line programming or with block programming developed by KMC. The VAV is a single platform, and it's a high uh, point count controller. And if you look here, we've got a Cat5 cable to the sensors, and that goes to the whole family of sensors. Uh, we can go uh, with temperature, humidity, CO2, and motion, clear down to just the blank sensor. One of the cool things about the sensor itself is, as I explained there on Cat5, we can actually replace this in the field with another sensor and have the balancer balance the VAV and then put it back on the sensor that's going to be finalized and in the installation. Okay. Moving up here to the unitary, again, as I mentioned before, the unitary controllers do come with programs. If it has a differential pressure uh, uh, sensor on the unit itself, we're going to be able to, uh, we, we send like a rooftop unit program versus a fan coil or a unit ventilator program standard in the product. Another great feature about the product if you buy the IP version is that there's actually a switch within it so we can actually daisy chain the Ethernet instead of doing home runs back to a switch. Moving over to the general purpose controller, this is an 8 in, 8 out controller and can be expanded up to 40 universal in and 40 universal out points. One of the unique things on the controller itself for the outputs is we have an assortment of cards that can be inserted into the controller itself, creating some flexibility for the outputs, be it uh, normally open relay, normally closed relay, triac, or handoff auto with potentiometer. When the cards are inserted, they are supervised so that the controller knows exactly what card is inserted and the position of the card itself. One of the unique features of our controllers is an NFC card within the controller. So from your Android phone or an Apple phone with a fob, we can actually, without power to the controller, put an Android device to it and it actually recognizes that there's a card within the controller. As I mentioned before, these are shipped with uh, pre-programmed controls, and I can actually read the, the program that's in the device right from my phone. So that's kind of slick in that you could program 40 or 50 VAVs still inside the box, not powered up, label them 10, VAV 101, 102, 103, and take them to the field and have them installed by your installer. It really reduces time and makes the installation a lot more cost effective for you and your customers. This is a BACnet over IP router. It routes the MSTP from the VAVs to here. So we've got BACnet over MSTP here being translated to BACnet over IP here. One other nice feature about this BACnet router is it actually um, serves up HTML5 web pages and manages the MSTP below. This reduces the load of any supervisory control on the network and actually this router will help make the network more efficient. The HTML pages that it serves up actually are very, very helpful to a technician checking out the MSTP trunk because it'll show all the controllers that are online or du duplicate MAC addresses or controllers that are offline. This is the KMC Controls app stat. It's an application specific control device that's gonna be used for rooftop units, unit ventilators, or fan coils, and it's ordered to that specific application when you order it from the factory. This is the Simply VAV product. It's a kind of a nice product line for Simple VAV applications in that there's no outside or no third-party software required. 
all of the programming is done through the sensor and the balancing is done through the sensor as well. So this product can be set up without any, pro without any software and then um, the systems integrator can at the top um, take those backnet points into the system and utilize that zone on the, the backnet system. The sensor here can be uh, ordered with motion and the, the family of sensors goes from very high end down to a simple uh, sensor with um, set point adjust. The sensors do sit on a Cat5, so it's easy to change out from different sensors. And also this product is on MSTP, speaking backnet or backnet over MSTP.